<laughs> Thank you. Now recording. God, it's been forever, man. It has been. How do we start this shit? Um, how was um, everybody's Christmas and New Year's, I suppose? Man, I don't even realize they had it. <laughs> I'm surprised Todd remembers New Year's, to be honest. Oh, yeah, God. I do remember We didn't, New we didn't get much drunk ski, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, hey, yeah that was, that mean? It was yeah. more from Dylan Cobb, though. Because I drunk. fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man did fall asleep. asleep. <laughs> yeah, we, we put up photos of Todd just napping. <laughs> that was so good. God, yeah, what, is, what, is, what is Joe crackling the mic in his mouth, something like that? Is it, is um, so, Parvi, when are you coming down to Melbourne for for New Year's or just a house party? Bro, I'm I'm a pull up. I'm gonna buy a Joe Brew ticket. I'm gonna buy a night a ticket. We're all gonna pull up. <laughs> we're gonna do it live in Todd's in Todd's room. That I'm, doesn't I wanna, sound like a good idea. I want to see Todd kick the goddamn chair from underneath Joe yeah. and just start getting to it, bro. For sure. We should have followed Todd my um, behind the house for his uh, chunder moment and then t- chuck that up. <laughs> Jesus, boy, Todd. Hell yeah! Come on, good. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Hey, Come Joba, on, Joe. Do, do you want to do you want to just like open all your snacks now? <laughs> just, yeah, dude. Joba. It's open. Like, it's open. All right. It's open now. I promise. All right, bet, bet. It is kind of crunchy. It's like so munching and crunching. He's just moving Man, all the clothes out of the way in the wardrobe. <laughs> He's back in the closet. <laughs> Joe is back in the closet. Hey oh, man, it's got, got acoustics, bro. Bro, for real. <laughs> That's bro. actually yeah. facts, though. Yeah, yeah. Wait, Todd's filmed in the closet, man. It's time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you just need some of the spikes. Moving my <laughs> streaming just in the closet. Oh, actually, no webcam. do you have any of those like spikes that the uh, cool professional streamer guys have? Spikes. You know, the sound, the oh, sound of the foam things. Yeah, the the sound absorption. No, no that's, just, that's just expensive. That is very expensive stuff. Damn. Would Maybe if we can get a raised shadow lens, shadow <laughs> lens. <laughs> I can't even say it anyway. <laughs> I'm not to it anymore. All right, hold on. Run it back. Run it back. <laughs> guys, welcome back to episode nine of Good Great Perfect. I'm your host, Captain Bobby. We're finally back. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, or whatever you guys do. Uh, we're back. We're finally back. The gang's all here. Night ain't here, but that's okay because we ain't talking about JP today at all. We're talking about one of the biggest parts of the global history so far, Man. and that is Dilbert quitting the game. It's upsetting, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, <bro. laughs> no, but for real, all right, got the gang all here. Cobby, what's going on, man? How's your new not, year? Not a lot, man. It's been good so far. I'm a bit crook today, so excuse the voice if Part it sounds a gang, different, bro, but uh, real, we, we back like we never left. That's it. Amen, my man. Dilbert, how you doing, buddy? Not bad, man. Just keeping myself busy, you know, make sure I get that money for 2020. That's it, man. We're getting W's 2020, baby. Joe, <laughs> how you doing, worry. man? Pretty good. I mean, some Kit Kats. Kit Kat Whites. Okay, you didn't have to specify. And Todd, how you doing? Better. Yeah, look, we out here. We out here. We're getting that money, baby. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, Lucky. so I'm fairly sure everyone knows exactly what the hell we're going to be talking about today. But just to run it down real quick, we are going to be talking about the glitch. Uh, wait, what glitch? Oh, wait, here we go. What, what happened? I think I was sleeping. <laughs> wait, wait. What? There was a glitch? What? 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 Uh-huh. About, man? What? I know, you know you're doing, it's, man. it's not like the community's been in turmoil for the last eight days. And Bro, my, for, my 4,700 gems are totally legit. Bro, I bought those gems, man. <laughs> I got hey, receipts, I have, bro. I have 15 gems and like 500 in the mail. Oh, I'm and not you still to lost Blitz. That's, Oi, that, hey. that's my secret stash. <laughs> and you still lost Blitz. How about yeah, that one, hey? You know what? I, I, have, I have various other factors I can blame that on. We'll get to that. Nah. <laughs> anyway, we'll be talking about the glitch that um, that happened. We're also going to... Um, this is basically going to be a discussion on that. More or less, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to discuss some other glitches as well that happened over TC. And that's a shout out to Broken Famous, you know, the guy that does all the uh, amazing guys on Reddit. He gave me a pretty... Um, a pretty hefty list of everything that's happened in OPTC, which is a lot of information there. So I appreciate that as well as um, we want to talk about it through the lens of not only the player's perspective, but from Bandai or a developer's perspective. So shout out to Rai for giving me a, an in-depth perspective on that as well. And we're just gonna give you our thoughts and opinions. We are going to do a Q and a Q&A, so the questions that you guys gave us quite a while ago on Twitter. We're going to go through as many of those as we can, or as we feel like. We will talk about towards the end of the show um, what we want to do with uh, GGP in the future, as well as how we're going to approach um, questions and stuff like that too. Without further ado, uh, Todd, do you want us to, to want to give us a quick uh, cliff notes, a quick spark notes on what the hell happened to OPTC? Uh, I guess okay. I wasn't fully prepared for that, but sure. Um, so there was a glitch. 
Oh, I'm sure everyone knows. No. And, uh, <laughs> so for those who were playing throughout the 55 million download celebration, that was when Luffy Law got released, when V2 Big Mom got released. And uh, basically, however many runs you did on your account, um, from the inception of your account to up until that point of the celebration, you would get certain rewards. And the rewards were very good. You know, rewards up to like 30 to 50 to 100 rainbow gems, tablets, forbidden tomes, a bunch of good stuff. And everyone was really happy about that. However, when it clocked over to the new year or around the time of when the new year was going to be happening, uh, everyone was sent those rewards again and again and again, just over and over again for some reason. So it basically led to a point where everyone who was basically playing throughout th that event was getting hundreds and thousands of rainbow gems for free. Yeah, I was... I remember because we'll sit like it was New Year's Day for us and, to and Todd had only just started logging into Treasure Cruise and he goes, dude... Log into your game now, like, cause so, for, yeah, I did. I quit ages ago. I didn't want to delete the game yet, cause I'm like weeding myself off of it, whatever. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'll log in. I'll grab the gems, cool. And then I made a mistake, and I accidentally left the mailbox. And I went back in. I'm like, Todd, there's, there's another 50 gems here. <laughs> they're back. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're still going. And, I, and, he, and then he goes, you can keep refreshing. You can keep refreshing. So then me and Kobe are refreshing and refreshing and pulling until we get all the legends. <laughs> It was oh, yeah. it was something crazy, man. And, like I, I ended up with like like four thousand odd tablets and mm -hmm. yeah, it's ridiculous. Crazy. Did you get all the legends? Mm. Strobo, why are you so far off the mic, too. man? No, I'm sorry. I was a uh, crunching. <laughs> his side guy, bro. He's, he's he's stuck in the closet. With some clothes in his nah. way, bro. Yeah, I was, a, I, was only missing, I was only missing Man Cherry, uh, Shirahoshi, and Vivi Rebecca. Pulled Vivi Rebecca on like the second or third multi. Took me another like. 30 odd multis to get VV Rebecca to get Ben Cherry Shirohoshi and like the red rates on that New Year's thing, like the one that was 30 gems a pop, like the red rates are like dog shit. Like, me yeah, and 100%. Me and <laughs> were doing like, like six multis and not getting a red. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. Um, like, so in from my perspective, I was like, I was just chilling in my hotel room, like, we we're on holiday for the New Year's. And then, like, uh, I go on Discord and I just see someone says 55 mil download rewards are back. And I was like, oh, maybe just, like, you know, someone's memeing it up. Checking my mail. I was like, oh, shit. It actually is back. We refresh as well. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, it's it would have just... been, been totally fine if the rewards just popped once again. And it didn't refresh. Like, yeah. Okay. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah. That, like, they'd be like, all right, cool. They, they, they wouldn't have to do anything. But, like, just the fact that, like, you know. Like I refresh, refresh, refresh. I had like my friends while I was like, you know, getting ready and stuff. I had my friends though. Um, I told them, okay, it's how you do it. It's how you pull, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And I was probably, I think I, we ended up doing like seven or 8,000 gems worth of pulls on the yeah. New Year's and TM Ooh. banner. And then I also stored up seven and a half thousand gems. Jesus. Like regardless, obviously like, you know, we can all safely say that we all did use the glitch. I don't know. I think Job is the only one that really abused it hard after the, after the um, maintenance, I'll, I think I'll, I'll put my hand up there. and say after the maintenance, I did do some multis on part two of um the thing. So that's what I'm saying. I'm so I can't wait to get banned. Like I can't wait for them to ban my account because I did like I think I did yeah I did six or seven multis on part two and it got me the, like the two boosters I needed, which was Dofi and Big Mom. I'm like, oh cool. Yeah. But, well, that's uh, the thing as well. We don't know exactly what they're going to. Yeah. Exactly, but that's why I was, yeah. that's why I was memeing. Like, in any time, anytime anyone brought up like OBTC to me, I'm like, yeah, cool. I can't wait to get banned. I can't wait to get banned. And that was great. that was the general consensus of like the whole community, pretty much. Everyone like because I like I guarantee you that the majority like, and we actually we we realized that it didn't happen just on global. It happened on the um the Korean version. It happened on like I think it's like a, the Taiwanese or traditional Japanese version. Oh, sorry, uh, traditional yeah. Chinese version Chinese of the game. Version, sorry yeah. as well. Yeah, it definitely happened. So in like. Korea. It happened on the every global side other than yeah. JP version of the game. So like mm -hmm. this what, is what, crazy. Yeah. What shit <laughs> means they're handling it so poorly. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna um so I'm gonna read a tweet that I tweeted out on the second of Jan. So this was after this is just after the maintenance finished. So Go I said it. I think that um OPTC is being extremely petty with the way they're going about their mess up. I understand the gems and the items, but the fact they're taking characters away that um that is a that is comp and that the compensation is absolute dog shit. I honestly think the way they handled this was piss poor. Like they they've they're just like they they messed up to a point so badly that that they're just like yeah no nah, we're gonna ban people who who basically for lack of a better term make fun of us for for messing up. You know what I mean? Like mm. Mm. 
I think like, so from the perspective of Bandai, so obviously like now that we've introduced what the glitch was and how it happened and we we like named our cases for it, essentially what Bandai came back with and then they just, they said that like they recognized the glitch itself. Like, correct me if I'm wrong or stop me at any point if I say anything incorrect, by the way. Um, they recognized what it was and then they went forward and listed a bunch of cases like that they were planning to like reverse right so these um range from things like um so erroneous amount of gems from your account would be reversed back to the uh, number previous um things like your tablet counts uh your training uh your training points and along those lines however there's a still a lot of different situations that weren't even mentioned for example yes. things like your box space they never mentioned that yeah, uh, limit um, break materials that you may yep. have used yep things like Potions. feeding tablets to older units as well like to yeah, that, that, that was the big pool. problem is they didn't really they weren't very clear in stating what you can and can't do and a lot of people were just in this like there's a position. lot of loopholes yeah yeah and people just didn't know what the hell to, like to do and like it's understandable why people are feeling this way and it's just it was just really bad timing because if it happened while they're at the office they could have got this fix fixed so much quicker mm-hmm. yeah but, which isn't, it isn't yeah. their fault necessarily but it does definitely exacerbate the issue yeah exactly but, um I can understand why they in everyone's mouth. Mm. Yeah. I can understand why they'd want to try their best to reverse everything because it does really ruin the economy of the game. The economy game is fucked. Like it, the economy not, of the game is absolutely broken now, it but is terrible. For something so devastating to the economy of the game, they haven't seemed very urgent to get it not fixed. At all. I mean they, yeah. they did give us that date. They were like, yep. look, we're back in the office on this date. We're going to have everything resolved on this date. And they've pushed it back again, which, and so the, like, there's so many people online that I see are scared to play yeah, the yeah, game yeah, at the yeah. moment because they don't know I am. how many gens they, how many gens they had, how many times yep. they actually had before the glitch. So there's a lot of people who aren't playing the game now because of that. So I think on specifically the date as well, um, it, uh, what I realized last night was that they mentioned, and I quote, the action is currently planned to be completed by January 7th. Right. So mm-hmm. saying by January 7th means that up to and including January 7th. So they had from the time that that announcement was made up to January 7th to do something. We don't know. Like, it makes no sense. I think the general consensus for a lot of people was when the game had gone down on maintenance, it should have stayed down and until who cares until it was fixed. That would but, have been the yeah. best case scenario. But what, what shits me is the compensation they're giving is, is yeah, dog shit. So for example, thing. the maintenance, like maintenance came out and came out of nowhere, but like everyone knew why there was maintenance. But the only thing that said, okay, from the maintenance going from now and they put the time when they went on maintenance till, and then they didn't give X a, time. a t- yeah. X time. They didn't give a number. And then when you came back, the, the, like okay, you, you're losing. So for, I'm gonna do, gonna be using wrong terms, obviously. But like you're losing all this stuff you just got, mm-hmm. and we're gonna give you one of each tablet. We're gonna give you yep. five tomes. We're gonna give you one gem. And now after they fuck up again, oh, don't worry, guys. We understand. We told you gonna, this is gonna be ready. Let's compensate this. Have ten million berries. Yep. Oh fuck yeah! The the least the the least influential kind of currency you can have in this fucking game. So How much berries do you get from a run of the uh, Golden Cavern? You can get like 32 million or some shit. Yep. So, Just okay. So on, on, the, on the like compensation, I think that's like, a, I think that's a, a big point of contingent. I think we should talk about to start off with. Well, um, I, just, I feel like it was like a massive slap in the face, it's, especially yeah. to, to us veteran players that would have, that yes, we got a lot of the good rewards and I'm like, okay, cool. But like, why, why only one? Why can't you say, okay, 10 of each tablet? Um, you, you get, so um, we're going to take all these gems, but you can have 50 to 100 gems. So, 50, so it'll be the 50 for the Happy New Year, and then it's another 50 for our, our fuck up. Yep. And then so, it's like, um, and then you get like, yeah, 10, 10 of each um, guaranteed tone book will give you two guaranteed USBs or we'll give you five just USBs. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like on, so specifically what they've stated is after the maintenance, they gave everyone one gem, right? Okay. That's, that's whatever. That's a maintenance gem. That's fine. We're used to getting like at most like five gems from maintenance. Then the compensation for when this fix is to, to occur and to happen was 50 gems. Like Dill said, 50 gems, which I think Todd debunked that those 50 gems was actually the New Year's gems that we're meant to receive. So that equals to a flat zero gems. Pretty much. Yeah, because, five, yeah, five because Japan on New Year's was supposed to be... It, Japan on New Year's got 50 gems and Global on our New Year's got like really points. Yeah, it, it, we didn't get anything basically. Yeah. So five, anyways. Of, five of each specific tome um, and then one tablet 
Uh, one one of each tablet, sorry, one or mighty manual. Okay, right. Compensation, it's a very hot topic when it comes to a lot of gacha games. You have games like Dragalia that they make one error in like the way that they word something and they'll compensate the player by giving them like five multis, you know? They're very erroneous as, you know, Bandai loves to use that term or uh, to giving to the player. However, OPTC's compensation is not, is very lackluster and very behind on the times. In this day and age, people want obviously gems are just flat out always going to be the best kind of compensation. People want tablets and people want I think like honestly in my opinion, like this is just me personally, I would have said 50 gems, maybe five or ten of each tablet, and then like a select legend from the newest legend batch. So that including like Saba Koala, Luffy Law, V2 Big Mom, and then the River Year batch legends as well. Like imagine if it was a ticket that guaranteed you one of those five legends, <laughs> five or ten of each tablets and fifty gems. I, I, like- I can understand where you're coming from. And I think that's that's honestly yeah. one of the best ways that they could have probably gone ahead and done this is because that's what a lot of people are really hating the fact that they're getting their new legends taken away from them. And that's understandable. Um, so if they were able to compensate that with, you know, even, if, not even just like, not even just a legend, but like a selected legend where you can choose a legend. Yeah. Okay, that well, would be really good. My, my thought process is this. Okay. So, so say, for example, you started out, you had 150 gems right before the glitch happened, right? And mm-hmm. you and you and that and that's because you you've decided to save the rest of your gems until the anniversary because that's when the next big suit. That's when you happens. want to pull, yeah. Yeah. What what happens if you did it so you have enough? So now you're at four thousand gems and you hadn't pulled yet. Okay, cool. I'll do the thirty gem and the thirty gem. You got two of the legends you didn't have and then you stop there. It's like well, technically they use their own gems, and but they're still going to take them away because they're going to go from the gems that were on the top, which is the fucking... See, uh, that's the way I was thinking about it too, but I'm pretty sure the way that it should be working is if you use gems and it's just say if you did a multi and doing that multi would have put you into negative gems, yeah. then they would take away those units. So oh, no. because you had 150 previously, if you did a 30 gem multi, you'd go down to 120. The, you'd, the thing you'd, is, you'd I'm not sure that we had to tell... Like, I'm, that's I'm the not, thing, yeah, we don't know. Yeah, we don't, don't know. know. In in the um in the notice that they sent out, that's what they suggested was the case that they knew how many gems you had before the fact and how many gems you spent during, and that you know they'd be able to figure out. Like I don't know how they'd figure it out. I also exactly, and like, this is the exact problem: is the fact that it's not clear. <laughs> it's really awful. Anything. It's so bad. I, I also so didn't bad. really like that in that notice. They said that they would be investigating people on an individual basis that's too much work like if you're gonna do now, that yeah, that's, that's not 55 happening 55 million like, players to go through like come on yeah that's that's not gonna happen and if no. that's what they're trying to do and that's why it's taking longer just yeah they should what they should have done is kept it in maintenance fix the problem compensate the players afterwards that's it call it you're a done. day exactly call it a day go back on your holiday enjoy enjoy your time off from the office exactly <sighs> Like it was, it's, it's it, it, like, it's, it's terrible. It genuinely is because transparency is one of the biggest things when it comes to like these kinds of things. You have a lot of the times where like game studios, game developers and stuff aren't transparent with their, like with their customers or with their players. And that just creates that thing. We've had zero transparency for five years with this game, right? Yeah. Right now we're in a situation that we're they're still, still, they're still, yeah. show, they're still like, writing news about the summer girl blitz and we're preparing for stampede and official bandai does not release a single tidbit of information about the current situation that yeah, frustrates and- me from like a perspective of having any respect or dignity for your customer at all yeah and what frustrates me is they clearly don't respect their community team like nick and that because yeah. the amount of the, the amount of pro like procedures they have to go through to get approved so they can make an announcement about something that isn't already pre-planned like weeks in advance like for something like that nick had to tweet out from his own account saying hey guys just let you know and like not everybody knows to follow him you know what i mean like yeah and and even what he said he goes this could happen it might not i don't get told everything exactly he knows he yeah we don't know like we, we don't know like poor guy as well like he's been harassed on twitter his DMs are probably blown up. He hasn't seen my DM to ask him to be on the show as well. Just saying, Nick, if you're <laughs> listening, please respond to my DM, my guy. That's not good luck. We but love um, <laughs> but uh, like, uh, at the end of the day, like, he like we like we we should be expecting um, we should be expecting uh, 
a response of some kind from like at least at least Bandai. recognition, at least some sort of announcement, even like yeah. if it was in game. And I think that um, I think like on on that remark itself is um is uh what broke so broken famous did give me a bunch of stuff and i want to go through a kind of a, a kind of a few of the other glitches as well um so i think the biggest glitch other than this one was the 7-eleven glitch right so just as a brief recap the 7-eleven glitch was friend points actually gave players rare recruits and that lasted for half a day the biggest part about that glitch is the most important part sorry about that glitch is that when uh, when when Bandai recognized the glitch, they forced all the players into their mailbox and forced an announcement on them to like from the mail itself. At least that forces um, everyone to um to actually read that to read that mail. Whereas a lot of the time, like we got the announcement on like the first screen. How often, I mean, like with you guys here, how often do you guys just hit that OK button as soon as possible when it comes to that screen? Yeah, yeah that's probably, probably everyone hits that one. No one's going to, because generally that one is like, that has some old news. Like the the the, the most recent news after, um, after the current glitch news is from 9.1.1. Like a, a bug that was in that in that update. We're at 9.3.1 now, mm-hmm. you know? So that news is very old and very outdated in terms of those announcements. So they should have forced every player into their mailbox and forced them to read. And so every single person's aware of what they're going to do and what the consequences are. Because you're going to have some dumbasses crying when Bandai snatches everything or like bans you or whatever they want to do at the end of the day. Um because they didn't read or understand what they're going to do. Yeah. Even if it's part of that mail, it's like a, do you agree at the bottom before you can, you know how it's usually like an okay or thanks for the comment. Yeah. Did you, you agree to these like, terms? Yeah. It's just like, have you read this? And if you click yes and you keep fucking up and then you're liable, like it's your fault. And I understand that they put it there and they're like, look, you should have read it. But that is the most underused tab in the entire news. Yeah, um, what, they, what they should have, what they should like, have done, like they, they need to introduce a feature that, like, when stuff like this happens or when an error comes out, there's something that that the the community as a whole needs to agree to. Once you once you hit OK and out of that ta- out of that mm-hmm. eventual tab, it directs you straight to the letter bo- the mailbox, yep. and then you can't leave that until you hit I agree and yeah, you've read through the whole that. thing. Because that way, even if you skim through it and you click I agree, that's your fault for not reading it. And yep. it's like it's like a contract. It's like yeah, you. This is you agreeing to new TOS. This is you agreeing to this during this event. There's got, there stuff might happen that you need <laughs> to agree not to. You know what I mean? Like no, I agree, hundred percent. So on that notion as well, a couple of other things. This is on the JP side where they had the one dollar bug, mm-hmm. where like for five minutes people were able to buy. I think it was either thirty or fifty gems. I can't for even $1. remember what banner that was for. I don't remember. It was a broke. It was- said it was during second Annie. Yeah, oh, no, I don't think it was that far. It was definitely an anniversary, but but it was no something way. It was like that, right? So yeah. thirty or fifty gems for a dollar. One, I think it was a hundred yen. So like, yeah, yeah, you could buy hundreds of gems for like a dollar. People, it was people so were able to buy like eight or nine thousand gems. Um, I don't think it was that much, but yeah, it was a like lot. it was it was a five minute mistake. As like this is yeah, from, oh, if you got quick through. transactions on, you could repeat buy that for like you could buy you could five minutes and you you're buying well if it's repeat transactions you could go what. Five, you could buy five every what, but it's minute. the annoying thing is, is every time you purchase something it, it goes back to the um sugo tavern so you got to go mm. back into the shop and then purchase it again but yeah you so, could probably yeah. do it every 20 seconds hypothetically yeah, yeah. And i'm pretty sure it was a deal that, that came out for that anniversary and it, it was, was like it yeah. came out and it came out you also got like um i think it was like uh, either a meat or something with it or whatever and it w- so it wasn't a small amount of gems i think it was i think it was it was either 60 or, or the 85 pack it was i'm pretty, pretty sure it was 100 it might have been something crazy yeah. I think it was like close to 100. Yeah, for like yeah, it might, yeah, might have been like yeah, 95 to 100 gems. Yeah, but yeah. it wasn't extreme because I was watching. Um, I was watching someone's show. Might have just been a nobody. I'm like, holy fuck! I'm like, please tell me this is a glitch. Like, it was as soon as the news click, clicked over. I'm like, whoa, okay, mm, for sure. Uh, another one also on the yeah, JP. Sorry, side. sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Um, Yo, how did they right. go about redeeming that? Uh, they gave everyone they 50 gems. Literally. That's it. See what? I'm, see what the fuck? Yeah. 
Even people that like bought the gems, they obviously oh, they keep more, and then they, they got fifty gems. See, like that, that, just, that just proves the point, like how little they care, and like especially now on global side, like we've been getting so much better with the like, whereas it be like the feedback from Bandai support and all that stuff. It's been really cool, and now they've just gone like, oh yeah, by the way, nah, screw this, you guys. There's all this stuff happened. You're not getting any reward, any real rewards for it. You get one gem and one of each things. Like really, come on. On top of that as well, it was like a five minute mistake and they got rewarded 50 gems. This has been an ongoing two problem. Hour. It was a two hour mistake oh, for the some, maintenance. Again, it's because they weren't in their office either. Yeah. And like, and, but, and this has been an ongoing, our current situation is an ongoing problem for nine days now, pretty much. Yeah, yeah so, it's, so, it's making it hard to play the game for people who just, yeah. Because like they, they got back to their office on the 5th of January. So... Yeah. From their notice that they said they had like two to three days to like fix forty-eight the hours, issue. pretty much, and so they need more time. So I don't, I don't know, honestly. I just hope it gets fixed really, really soon. Yeah, for sure. Honestly, it's All just right. a joke. The next glitch. <laughs> um. So this is like. Uh, what was so, that laugh, bro? <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> the cheeky little laugh. Okay, yeah. let's get it. Let's get going through this shit, man. We need, we need to get some light hard stuff. Bro, I, 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 like. I love these kind of episodes because it really fleshes out like uh, ha- like one our thoughts on the on what's happening in the current situation as well as like the controversy and, and like a lot of people won't t- touch on this stuff because they want to have like when they're this um well like well, yeah a lot of people this like man they, is, this man is depleted I am depleted <laughs> I, I'm trying to not like be no, too I'm the same dude I'm the, I'm the exact same man I've been ready to snap like, yeah, and I have exactly, been a little bit on Discord as well. And that's and cool. Like, me, me and Jacob quit. And this brought us back. We're like, oh, cool. This is really cool. And I don't see like them doing like a massive punishment for it. And now this has got... Um, and that, that's why I'm like, you know, screw this. I'm going to make your choice real easy, Bandai. I'm going to pull now. Ban me. Because <laughs> I don't want to be caught playing this game if you guys aren't going to support your customers. No, that's fair. And they, they don't care about us. And that's, that's the thing. Fair. And that's I, fair. I, I, played this ga- I played this game for four and a half years. And I really enjoyed this game. And I, I've spent too much money on it to like have it continuously do this kind of shit to me and like the people and the mates that I've made through the game. And that, that's honestly the best part I'm taking away from this is like meeting you guys on discord and finding yeah, exactly. like all this kind of shit. Like and that's, and one that's, one of the positive, to... that's one of the positives of the game. Like we don't like as much as this episode is going to be like blasting negative, like yeah. we still need to like, we, we will hopefully at some point get into a lot more positives. And yeah, and, and yeah. So now that I've calmed down a bit, I, I I'm, what I was trying to say is that I'm glad that we we we're not worried about what people like what like whoever's thinking about who's w- watching the podcast. So like no, whether, 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 podcast. whether we're looking for like whether we're looking for sponsors or looking for new people to come in, we're not afraid to tell people to come and like this is the what's, this is the flaws of the game. You everybody should know this. Like this isn't us yeah. just. Look, this is this is us just like saying the, ga- the game's horrible. Don't download it because because we don't like it. It's it's the game's in a really bad state right now because of this exact what, what's happening right now. And this is a perfect example why they don't they're not getting the player base that they'd like to have, like Dokkan and stuff. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. Totally. And we wouldn't make we wouldn't make such a big deal about it if we didn't care. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing. Like that proves like Jacob and I we quit like what a month and a half ago, and yet we're still very much involved in this because like well. We can, like, t- like to- Toasty's one of our best, like our best mates. The amount of messages he's getting for this, like sh- people asking oh, him, fuck that man. He's, the, he's <laughs> a primary, he's the primary global content creator. Literally, so the world he, is on his shoulders, bro. Exactly, it's- everyone's going, everyone's going to him and asking him what's happening, why, why this, why that. It's like if it's I like, knew shit, you'd know. <laughs> exactly, like if you yeah. follow Todd on Twitter, if you follow his tw- Twitch streams, and if you follow his YouTube, you know everything he knows about the situation because he he will elaborate to. His audience about it because he actually, he cares about the audience. You know what? Fuck it. Direct everything at Joba. Fuck that guy. <laughs> oh, hold on. I actually I actually did get some people messaging me and asking me like, no, hey, since you, you got didn't. That, since, no, There's I did. I got no one guy. Way. He, he I got people me, asking me on Twitter, yeah. but that's about it. What? He asked me, hey, since you fuck it. <laughs> he said, since you got that in with Toads, he does he, do you guys know anything that we don't? And I was like, no, he doesn't <laughs> know shit. Oh man. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna to lay down. I'm gonna lay down the law right now. None of us know fuck <laughs> anything about what the hell is going on. This is why we're all angry, we're all disappointed, we're all upset because none of us know what the hell is happening with this game right now. That's why we're having this discussion so we can like educate not only each other but you guys as well to our opinions and what the opinions of, you know, some of the OG and some of the big players in the game are. 
It's actually That's kind of it. funny because like we were talking in this chat like a week ago and we're like, oh yeah, we should organize a podcast and like, oh no, we should wait until after the seventh so we can <laughs> yeah. talk about what they've done. Wait. Well, <laughs> well <laughs> we <here. laughs> ain't, ain't done nothing yet. <laughs> yeah, boy. Feels bad, um, man. None of the other bugs really too crazy. I think the other craziest bug was also on JP as well, where like there was a Sugo and there was a problem with the rates and then Bandai refunded everyone's gems. That they, they, they used to pull. It was like Boris made a video on it, so he pulled and then he got refunded all the gems he pulled again, the clown himself. But Boris is a god of pulling, so hey, fuck it, run it. Man. That was on JP, right? Yes. We had that, a pretty big yeah. one. Was that on you a trick match, Sugo? I think so. I think I remember that you guys, one. You guys remember Baggy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The old Fortnite. Baggy. It said yeah. Baggy instead of Buggy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> all right. Um, what a few weeks it's been. It, it's it's like, actually been terrible. That, fir- that first day, I was at work, and I, 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 you know, since I'm irresponsible, I got on Discord on my phone, and I saw people talking about it, like, oh, yeah, just go into your mailbox, and it keeps refreshing infinite gems. I was like, what the hell are they talking about? And then I, I started doing it. Like, I was about to leave for work, and I was, like, cleaning up everything while I was playing on my phone, trying to get all the shit. I even drove home while opening mails and doing polls. Guys, just like, yeah, do I, don't know, I, I figured it was going to be over like any second. I didn't realize it was going to go on for three hours. Mm. Yeah. And, and, uh, fuck, I was, I kept thinking like, if I, if this is all a dream and I told you guys that this was going to happen, you'd, you'd think I was No one would believe it. If you, if, if the game, if nothing had happened and you'd come up to me and said, um, you know, I had a dream, you know, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> I had a dream that um, you know <laughs> everyone would get everyone would get gems like and then an infinite amount pretty much. I'd have called you a fucking clown. Yeah, straight it's, up. It's I'd insane. have told you you eat glue, my guy. That's I do. But that's a separate. Yeah, yeah. shout oh, out to Joe, man. man, getting second in carry. Couldn't even get first place in, in his oh, favorite, on his wash, bro. It's, it bad, let me bro. say, it's <laughs> it's not for lack of trying. I gotta say, I went up against a fucking monster. Yeah. Also, yeah, I want to also shout out. I don't know if Trunks is even gonna watch it because he hates me but shout out <laughs> trunks man that guy quit as well which is kind of unfortunate that guy was the king of blitz he, Sorry about that, lads. you're all good <laughs> but yeah trunks is like the king of blitz um there's no one that's been able to farm, farm the game faster than that guy i think it was telling me there was there was one part where he did um what do you say 720 runs in like 24 hours or some shit oh, straight yeah or some sure. crazy some absurd like and constant pace so like you know so it was some special um, we're never going to see anyone that's going to be able to farm that quick. You know, it, it would out farm modders, which is the funniest part. But the modder yeah, episode is coming soon. I promise. I promise you guys. So what do I miss? Like, I just take a phone call. <laughs> hey, I mate, have a lot of a. you just talking this like. It, pretty much everything we've heard about this glitch has been negative because of how Bandai has handled it. But I got to say, I got a lot of fun out of it because uh, putting aside like pulling and getting all the legends and shit, I'm pretty sure Trunks would not have come back and done the blitz if not for the fact that we had you know a shitload of gems. And, and same with me. Like I wouldn't have gone for a top rank if I didn't I mean, have all even these. Even Syringe came back. Yeah, Ringe yeah. came back too. And that guy was an OG like whale. Yeah. So like a lot of players. Justin came back to pool and like yeah. play as well. Like every, right. literally everyone came back. Justin surprised me because, like, when he said he, he uh, like, when, it, when I heard how much he did, like, he rainbowed everything in his character box. He got, like, heaps of gems, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, oh, I was doing it nonstop, but I was pulling at the same time. But, like, what? He had, he had like, 8,000 tablets stored yeah, up. Yeah, like, I'm like, was, how? Like, and he, he, said, and he, he found out like about a thousand it left. After, yeah, which was some crazy shit. Yeah, he found out about it after I, like, after I did. Like, I'd been doing it for a solid 45 minutes before he found out about it. I think like well, he, he, he also had, had the, the higher rewards. rewards. He had the 50k yeah. clear rewards as well. So he had that, double yeah. tablets or that something. Makes sense. No, he didn't. He had the same as us, didn't he, Todd? No, he uh, had 50. He was gonna say, pretty sure he would have had the big one. He had 50, 100 percent He was getting 100 gems per. He was like, he, was like, he started mathing out how many gems you can get per hour, which is just fucking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course, that's of course, that's course that's time, man. That sounds like Justin. Dude, that's how much you know Justin. What? Uh, for for a guy who struggled so much with math, that's the one math is so good. I just oh, that's to so mean. <laughs> Sorry, that's I know. Just, so, shout out. Nah. To <laughs> okay, I, I say that, but he got all A's and B's. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, shout out to Yaku. Yeah. That boy, that boy, <laughs> that boy out there fucking playing Pokemon and running up and Tekken now. I don't know what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, he, he's a big Pokemon streamer now. We're getting that's, all kinds of new people in Dynasty we never even heard of. Oh, it's like 45 people have been added or have been invited or have joined the last two days, man. Get him yeah. out. <laughs> get them all. They're, they're all clowns, bro. 
I got yeah. my goons in there, bro. I don't want new goons, bro. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't even. Not gonna lie, if I want to talk to any of you new goons, I go on the, I, I go on bro, our is, podcast chat. Bro, like, this is the best chat, man. It's yeah, the like, best people in this chat. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I've been on Dynasty. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> really, <laughs> it's, it's all kids. It's all kids fucking crying about OPTC and playing Pokemon, man. Oh, Get out of here, bro. Hey, don't rag on Pokemon. I've been, I've been playing that nonstop. Shiny. I'm hubby. glad, man. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, bro. But all right, well, I want to go into what Rye mentioned to me, and this is this is fucking very. He sent me like goddamn essay. Shout out that guy. If you haven't listened to the Rye app, I've got what number it is. It's probably like six, or it's like three. But I don't fucking I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But um, he mentions that like uh, it definitely has something to do with the code, obviously. But he mentions like um, him and Flash always had a good discussion about it that I was like reading, um. I think that, like, if he says from his perspective, it definitely had to do with the date and some sort of check on the date, but they didn't, they don't have the year on the date, right? So, like, if you think about it, like, the th- I think the, the, the rewards expire like the 31st of October or something like that. Um, so what, the 55 million? Yeah, I think it was like yeah. 31st of October. I, I, thought and- they, I thought they, I thought what they, the fuck up was they said that the, the rewards would expire on like into the new year and what instead of expiring, they just resent them. Yeah, so I think it's something along the lines of like either they expired on, um, on like the, uh, like the 31st of October or something like that. But the check that like actually the, in the code, the check that like actually sees when that date is doesn't include the year, right? So if you have 0101, which is the new year, it's going to be less than that date. So that might mean that like the code itself might have checked it and been like, oh, okay, um, they're still not expired so they can go back and be sent to the player. We don't know exactly. But one thing that he did mention in particular, um, he said, and I quote, considering how big of a fuck up this is, they should have contacted their senior devs and got them back ASAP. I don't know what Bandai's PTO policy for vacation is, but most companies, if something critical happens and you're the person in charge, you better be the first one back to fix it. They can always compensate you for the vacation at a later time, but you better get your ass back in the office. There's no, I'm on vacation, wait until I come back bullshit. That have gotten you fired. Or that have gotten me fired 100%. Yes. Yeah, Rai is a developer. Like he is a programmer, so he knows what he's talking about. Um, and I think that's a really important thing. Um. To, to harp on is that the fact that like and we're, we're we're assuming that like the excuse is they're on holiday and we know that they were on holiday as well but like from that when i read that from rye it makes sense like if you like the game's fucked like it, after the situation the game was that fucked up you can't just say oh after we're all back or whatever we'll fix it later you just can't do it and bandai of all companies i would never expected that at yeah all. and like if i like- the thing is, that can be taken to any sort of job, though, not just like uh, a job with yeah, yeah. programming and stuff. Like my job is a perfect example of a job that is very similar. Like I can't just so if something happened over the holidays when I was on Christmas break from one of my clients, since I only took one client on Christmas break, and something happened where I still kept getting paid for not for not rocking up to to do my my work there, and or whatever something happened with um payments or you know what I mean. If yeah. I said oh, I said oh, I'll sort that out at a later date when I when I actually back it working my full hours, my work would say ha, 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 get out of our office. One hundred percent. And I don't think like I, I don't think it's an excuse to keep on saying Bandai like Bandai's on holiday. That's why I waited so long. It's like it's not um, it's not fair. And I think like um, Rice said to fix this, the first thing like this is I hear to fix this. The first thing I would have done was turn off the script that system that automated the reward handout in the first place. He doesn't know why it's so active. I'm assuming maybe a person rushed to solve this. Maybe don't have a high enough access to the uh, directory to directly remove slash shut off the systems. It could only write something on the fly. Okay. So actually I just want to interject something about that as well. It's a f- the funny it. thing was is after the maintenance period, people were still receiving the mail. Yes. <laughs> yeah. that really? Is- that is true. Yeah. That is true. You could you could farm for the mail. Like if you kept on opening and closing your mail, you could somehow get lucky or a quote unquote farm for it and get well, that mail yeah. in your box. It's a refresher mailbox. And well, it that's took what, like that's several what I was to Todd, like before they patched it, before they before the maintenance ended started and they the mail stopped coming out. I'm like, Todd, you can still get it. He goes, No, I can't. I refresh my thing four times. Like, I got it again. And he goes, and then I did like seven more times. Like, okay, I'm not getting it anymore. I'm like, maybe I just missed one. I'm like, no, I'm like, 
okay, I guess that was the the thing. If you could, um, uh, yeah, if you could keep farming it, you could, hundred percent, you could. And that's the yeah, funny like, part. I had to do it like 70 times one time, but it, it yeah. worked. Like the funny part was that the, the, the fix didn't even fucking work. There was no, so it definitely makes sense that somebody that was at the office um, quickly like did a quick fix that tried to cover up as much as they could or like to fix it as much as they could, but it definitely wasn't enough. Um, I think now I want to talk, I want to continue with what Rise mentioned to me mm-hmm. about how he would have, like how um, he would fix slash compensate or whatever he mentioned. It's going to be a long-winded thing. I'm sorry. He didn't write me a lot. Um, God bless the guy. Um, wrote your small novel. Yeah, he literally wrote me like his thesis. This is, I want to give him a PhD after this. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll, I'll give him a D. Okay. Bro, I, was, uh, I was hoping that you wouldn't bro, hear that. I I'm, was hoping it wouldn't go past. <laughs> bro, I'm just saying, man. Uh, like, I was trying not to fucking roast too much, man. But like... You can uh, make it really hard. Yeah, I asked for it. <laughs> this is fucking nuts. Yeah, I'll see. <laughs> yours, should, yours should have seen the, the previous opening of this episode, man. Trevor said some questionable <laughs> ass shit. Anyway, <laughs> Rai mentioned query the logs database to find like to find who got the mail, who opened it, since like the different calls of action, roll back, return the user's account. Um based on my experience, games that deal with the user's account normally have two types of backups. One, an individual account every three, five, ten minutes. This is account backup um, based on if they're online or not. Or two, complete server backups every 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how their systems work. Query logs to um, to add like to add back all the legitimate stuff. To look, that includes gem purses, purchases, rewards received from, um, from snails, TM chess, all that kind of stuff. Um, explain that an error was caused. And that you had to shut it down and then comment to everyone this way. Everyone who abused it had their account states returned to before it was abused and they got any legitimate items acquired back as if the bug had never happened and then got the compensation for the error. Everyone that weren't able to log in to use the bug got compensated just for logging in. Bendai loses out on nothing because they made the error. Like they made the error not exist anymore. Um, and the players got compensated for something they had no control over. The moment Bendai allowed players to log back into the game without removing anything was a big mistake. Um, and then he just goes on to continue like with that kind of compensation. And then he also mentions to me as well, uh, there is a divide between the global and JP devs. So that could have been an issue as well to where the global, um, so to where the global devs would have had to wait for permission from the JP devs. And that does go back to the whole... Um, the whole social media aspect where you have to like, and this happens in a lot of social media fields as well, where you have to wait for approval on tweets or Facebook posts or Instagram posts to actually like update or to push it out. And then like he, um, and he mentioned, and he just goes on like that. So shout out to Rai. I know that was like, that was pretty jumbled up and probably didn't make a lot of sense, but from the perspective itself, you like what should have been done uh, this is my perspective and I'm happy for you guys and I'm happy for all of us to just jump in and like discuss what we would have done as well. I personally think that everyone I'm that... i smart enough to know what I would have done. To be no, honest. no, but like even just even just from the perspective, <laughs> I would have personally just, as soon as they realized that it was happening, just shut the game down completely. Oh yeah, people, well, obviously. People, people are going to complain that Bandai loses out on revenue. First of all, it was during TM, like the second day of TM. So the majority of revenue from TM itself would have already been made from the first three days of that Suga Fest part one. Second of all, what they could have done was rather than uh, having that fix occur while the game was down, whatever it may have been, right? And then rather than having the summer blitz be in two separate parts, be one part with three. So be part two and that's it. Three day blitz, those rewards or buff the rewards a little bit, and that's it. And then that would have still lined up with the timing in terms of Stampede. We have a really long wind-up to the 13th for Stampede, so they have a few days here between the 7th and the 13th that they had to continue the game to be shut down or to introduce a three-day blitz rather than the five-day blitz. Yeah, I definitely think that shutting down the game would have been the best thing for the for the play base that would have made so much more sense that would have probably given them a lot more time to figure shit out um but of course bandai is a company that likes making money so if as long as the game's down they're not making money 
even though like and, and people like you might say like oh no one's going to be spending money throughout this period mm. i literally saw some person in the subreddit discord they posted how much money they spent on treasure cruise just in the first week of january they spent like 400 bucks i was like what the fuck people that's are legit still spending fuck. money on the yeah. game <laughs> like it, that's questionable <laughs> that's very questionable man but hey man them wifos really wifos jesus them wifos <laughs> really do it to you man shout out to joba one time didn't come, <laughs> didn't come first but hey that's fine <laughs> uh but yeah like it is, honestly like just talking about the content as well like having the treasure map on new year's then moving on to like five days of blitz battle Oh, it's Bro, crazy. I'm so, so glad shit. I'm not playing anymore. Like treasure map on you so I, 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 I so auto treasure map to the point where I nearly got into the next um fucking <laughs> level. Uh, like literally I ordered everything and got the character maxed out and then like, you know what I've had enough. I threw my phone away and, then, and I looked I'm like, wait, the blitz battle started right after treasure map. Yep. The mm-hmm. fuck? Yeah, it's it, pretty bad. Like I feel like if like the the fact that like just speaking on Blitz itself, the fact that there's so much wrong with Blitz as well that we will get into at oh some point. Maybe even today. Like, hey, fuck it. Like, we might as well, uh, right? This is going to be a long podcast. It like, is going to be. So I really hate I hate the structure of this current Blitz with the um, the droppable like stuff giving you points. Oh, uh, don't even... Joba so I was, Joba I was one beetle it. away from beating Trunks. Literally oh. one beetle. He went to sleep 30 minutes before the end, and he because he's like, there's no way he can win unless he just gets like shitloads of beetles. And I played, I played harder and faster than I've ever played the game, and I got, I got shit. I kept getting like the worst drops possible. I didn't get a single beetle, but if I had gotten a single one, I would have passed him. Wow. <laughs> oh, I was, I was a little salty, but man, I mean, I, I'm just honestly, I'm just proud that I like came so close to the legend. To be honest, the man, the myth. Oh yeah. It's just at like... least it wasn't some fucking modder, you know. True. That's facts. Fuck modders, dude. Yeah, yeah. for true. It's, game, just, it's just the fact that the drops on Blitz Battle and the way that, th- that this event is structured, it makes it so much more pay to win compared to like every other event in the game. Because if you have those point boosters, like the difference between someone that summons for them and someone that doesn't is humongous. It is so oh, big. Un- insane. It makes so much difference, especially in uh, double points. Holy shit. Oh, it's crazy. What were we it saying? Joe, what was your what was your boost? Because you had you had max team. 18.11. Okay, so I was running the double carrot team. That's a that was a 5.5 times team. So if you really look at it just from that perspective alone, every run, if we got the exact same amount of points every run, Joba will get three at minimum three times the amount of points that I'll get, period. Yeah. It's it's dumb. Even if I'm playing faster than him, he will still get three times the amount of points just from the team yeah. alone. I and definitely I think, prefer the older style where yeah, it was based, based on how on many runs. clears you had. Yeah, because then... Well, like, was it based on drops? Yeah. Yeah, this Man. event's based on drops. Ugh, yuck. It's gross. But like, in the older style events where it was based on like how many clears you had, it, like you could literally pull for the point boosters and yeah, it would help you clear the content faster, but you don't have to pull for them. If you have some really cool team... And you can blow yeah. through it at you know a similar yeah. pace. You know you can still kind of keep up, and that's more based on the effort that you put into the event yeah. rather than the this money. Sounds like a lot of just RNG. Also, it is. if you it is, it is. If you guys remember, if you guys remember the World Clash, the highest drop that you can get was a USB, which gave you a lot of points. Mm-hmm. But at this time, the highest drop was a Beetle, which had like it was like four times as much as a USB. It was, it was so disproportionate. Points. It was insane. If you they got a single Beetle, manual, you were, yeah. you were like it. eight, like f- six runs ahead automatically. At least, if you it was it was crazy. Like, and I think, like, see, that makes no sense because if everyone remembers hashtag four hundred gang, oh, I wasn't was a part of that. But like the fact, <laughs> I was. But, but the fact that there was a like you know four hundred like was it four hundred runs? I feel like it was four hundred runs, yeah, right? Yeah, 400 yeah runs. okay. So four hundred <laughs> runs. That's a fuck ton of runs for the average player. That's a lot. I'm so like, proud that we that as a community, we everyone actually, coordinated we that. Together. That's one of the best moments in a, in the OBTC community history. I found it so funny, like the amount of people, like, oh no, they're not going to give everyone the same rewards. We were, like everybody was ragging on it for so long, and then when it came out, yeah, and then uh, everyone did. Yeah, and then everyone did, and but then the fun of the very next split battle, we're not allowing <laughs> you to do that again. They specifically <laughs> mentioned as well. Yeah. They're like, whoever gets to the points first, they like, first gets, gets that place. I, or whatever. I really, I really don't like that that they uh, remove that capability because in Dan Memo, in, you know, when when they have competitive events, yeah. pe- like the, people always share the first place spot with the exact same amount of points, and they all get the same rewards. Yeah. They don't care. Yeah, I really don't understand why they like 
they what decided to kill. Well, they punished us. Yeah, because I feel yes. like that was like a really good community spirit, and a lot of people came together for that one. And I guarantee right. you, the devs, the devs looked at the scoreboard and they're like, "What the fuck is going on? <laughs> How do these guys these cunts, all end up at the same?" Communicate? Yeah, they're like, "Wait, they know each other? Like what?" And we're like, "Yeah, what's up?" <laughs> that's, Everyone's that's name probably... was four hundred and stop. <laughs> <laughs> probably again though another economy of the game sort of deal mm -hmm. like back back then though those rewards would have been insane I mean, oh, to, today's were. standards yeah yeah bro, like a single bro, red bro. man like i got three reds for going first place and that was nothing bro blitz rewards suck <laughs> like what was it like first place got what like part one blitz rewards no gems what the fuck yeah that's dumb yeah, yeah. And I spent like a hundred gems on stamina refills. That's crazy. For, for real though, like um and to like I think also like another part of Blitz, first of all, I dislike that Blitz is two parts, very much so. Mm -hmm. And I also yeah, dislike that part one's two days, part one's three days. Why and they didn't even have a break in between. I thought it was gonna be like a day break, but they just said, hey. You're done part one. Hey, fuck it. We started I mean, part two. Honestly, big. that that's where I think the word clash did it a little bit better because they had breaks. Like, they had like I think two days of farming, and then each day like it was like different islands would appear, and then yeah. there was the day yeah. break where you could farm for negative points for the opposition. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I believe I uh, one, one of my friends who is a JP main, he said that that's how the blitz ba the waifu blitz battle was on JP. That's how they did it. Yeah, yeah. I just I don't get like five day like. Okay, TM, you like we're we're all pretty used to TM being four to five days. I wish we go back to the three day TMs. That'd I mean, the fantastic. one on New Year's was five days. That was fun. I didn't realize. Like, I, like my brain, man. I was like, "What the fuck is going on, man? Why Absolutely is absolutely wild?" Like, I got so used to like four days is actually a good amount for TM. I, like, yeah. I I think like you know, obviously three day TMs are fantastic because it's just short and sweet. But the four day was a good compromise. I mean, literally between the three and five day um yeah. tms but four days was just a, it was just a solid amount you played four days it was great and then like five day tm into two day blitz part one into a three day blitz part two all encompassing a fucking glitch that ruined the entire economy of the game yeah that's Opens true this Hey, remember when we were complaining like last January or the January like in like 2018 or whatever that there was no fucking content on the OPG? Oh, yeah, I know, right? Ben has said, hey, you want content, bitch? Here's <laughs> content. Here's the controversial man. stuff. Here's everything right now, man. I hope right. you got iTunes cards for Christmas. <laughs> hey, you want to spend some gemmies? Yeah, you, you don't get any more of them gems, bro. I mean, in all reality, if you did get iTunes cards or Google Play cards for Christmas, save that shit for uh. February. Send them to me. Yeah, send them to me. <laughs> hey, we do. Send them through. What's up, man? Nah, for real. But like, I think like um, on the glitch itself that I just had a thought of, like, it's actually kind of concerning how they're gonna like just just like particularly the gems, right? So like, I think Todd's held the idea, and I think it's like probably the most like reliable idea is that. Like whatever gems you spent, as long as it's what like from your stash, and it's not below zero, you'll get those gems back, or you'll keep X units or whatever. However, that compensation is going to work. But what that kind of annoys me a little bit is that, like you know, I've been saving gems up for bullet, and I pulled blah blah blah. So now the reality of the situation is most likely I'm going to end up with zero gems when it comes to stampede, and I think a lot of players. Yep. are going to end up with zero gems when it comes mm -hmm. to Stampede. So yep. now yep. you look at it from the perspective of... Stamp like we we're not going to talk about Stampede that much today, but next episode, obviously, all the Stampede stuff's going to come out. Bullet will be out. We'll probably have news on Stampede Luffy as well. So we'll go into that stuff on that day, uh, when, like on the next episode, hopefully. But with Stampede coming out, Stampede is going to make probably... A fuck, not as much as Annie, but it's going to make a crazy amount of money just because everyone knows how fucking strong Bullet is and how underrated and actually how powerful Stampede Luffy is as well. Yeah. Yeah. I actually forgot totally about Stampede Luffy because, yeah, we've got yeah, two big Sugos. We've got two big Sugos coming <laughs> right before the anniversary, which is yeah. kind of wild. And another, and another TM on the 16th, most likely. Yeah. So, and like, the, the thing is, as well, is 
according to JP release. Um, so you had Stampede come out. Then after that was Quick Whitebeard with Treasure Map Blackbeard. Then was yep. Kaido. So like, so are we gonna have another Treasure Map? We're gonna have a more Kaido. We'll have. We'll potentially have. I don't even 16, know, man. 16th TM to the 20th, and then probably like end of January to start of Feb, and then end of Feb will be like go from there. Like it's gonna be some crazy shit. Hmm, God damn, there's a lot to take in right now, and I feel like, like, how, how what do you guys think of in terms of how pressed for scheduling do you think the team is? Do you think that they have to follow their very strict? They have to follow schedule. Well, I feel like you- I feel like they kind of have to because if they if they didn't have to follow schedule, they probably would have delayed the blitz battle. I feel like they sh- like like I feel like in, I, I feel it's very ignorant in this situation that they just didn't delay or like like rearrange or like whatever it is. Because just speaking on TM alone, um, people were able to pull for boosters and start running it. So uh, yeah. immediately everyone fucking cheated on TM. So technically, according to TOS, everyone should be fucking banned. That's perfectly yeah. fine. Simultaneously, <laughs> everyone pulled for Blitz, or the majority of players pulled for Blitz. Yeah. I mean, so you can make the same arguments for cheap gems back in the 100%. day. So. But I yeah. feel like this is fucking infinite gems. I didn't have to spend a cent to get 15,000 gems. Mm. Back in the day, I'd just spend like a couple grand to get 15,000 gems, you know? So like, this is way worse. And people are going to argue, probably going to roast us in the comments saying, cheap gems, blah, 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 blah. This, this event ruins the economy because... If they don't fix the gem, just the gem can alone. People can keep their units. I don't care. People can have rainbow units. Rainbow doesn't mean shit anymore, as did, um, like, it has no credibility. Same as uh, pirate level basically has no credibility because people were basically running macros when three times EXP ship comes out. So it doesn't matter regardless, right? But, um, the, the, like, if you're going to have, like, for example, in my situation, I have 7,100 gems in my account. I can just burn all of that on Stampede. If they haven't fixed it by Annie, burn it all on Annie. I'm not going to, why would I spend a single gem on Stampede or buy a gem on Stampede and Annie if I have 7,000 gems just sitting there? I, I kind of feel I have some thoughts on that. The people keep saying it's going to ruin the economy. When people abuse that thing on, on GP and they got like thousands of gems, and I'm pretty sure that didn't ruin the economy for them. There weren't that many people doing it though. And it lasted That's like fair. 10 That's minutes. Fair. This lasted but, like three hours. Yeah. That's fair, but it, oh, there's two kinds of people that play the game. There's free-to-play, and then there's people that, you know, those people, they weren't going to spend any money anyway, and then pay-to-play people, I, I'm sure they're going to burn through those reasonably quick. Like, we saw the rates for, like, for like Summer Carrot. I had to do 25 multis for that shit, and that's just me, right? Like, some pe- people had better luck. RNG is RNG, but, you know, you can burn through tons of gems, like, if, quicker than you can imagine. Yeah, but if you're I don't smart think- with your gems, right, 7,000 can last you... A long ass time, right? And it's like not like it's not gonna hurt. Their, I'm not saying it's not gonna hurt their profits potentially, but it's not gonna be like game ending. But it, it like, be like, I see. I disagree. I feel like, like, like for me, I like, I know when to spend, when not to spend. I'm very meticulous with how I do it and stuff. So if for some reason they just say, "Hey, fuck it, we give up. We're not gonna, we're not gonna find a solution. It's just gonna, we're gonna roll with it." Those seven thousand gems are gonna last me for like three years. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I feel yeah. like the, the at least that, if you're actually smart with it, but it's hard to be. The thing that it hurts is the free to play. Like it hurts the game. It doesn't. I, I don't give a fuck. I I don't care. You know what I mean? As a player, like as me who's played the game for like like three and a half years, maybe four years or whatever I've played it for, I don't care about what's happened. You know, but what I care about is the current situation of the game. Like that's what's that's what it's gonna hurt the most. And I think that's they, the they, 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 I feel like they kind of have to do something because, like, you have like a whole group of people that weren't even able to do the glitch, yeah. and like, you got that group of people that are like complaining and the fact that, like, oh, come on, you know, there's a whole group of people that could have done it but weren't able to do it, or or whatever. You know, I feel like they do, they do have to remove. They the, have to, hundred the percent. They have to. But from what we've like, you know, and I like we did touch on it a little bit, but Bandai did come out with a statement one hour before the clock ticked over to eight, the 8th of January PST time. Um, they said, uh, yeah, we don't know. Like they just mentioned that we need more time. Mm-hmm. We, we apologize for giving you the particular date. And then what, what Dilbert mentioned, they added 10 million berries to the reward. 
And not only did they add it, they highlighted it in red as oh, if, man. as if That's players a give a fuck so about bad. our saving grace. As if players give a fuck about ten million. Like, wh- I, I, who was sitting it's... at the dev desk and said, "Hey, you know, it's a good compensation. Dude. Let's add ten million. They're literally giving us ten million berries from Chopper Man missions. It's actually insulting, yeah. to be honest. You, you know how much you can if you sell one of the Beatles from Bliss. You know how much it gives you a like, hundred million belly. Exactly. Like, like, oh, it just. Like it, and I guess that does come back to the conversation of compensation as well. But uh, who, like, I would, like, it's more insulting. I agree that them adding the ten mil than them just not doing anything at all. If they had just said we apologize, we need more time, everyone would have said okay. That's that's we we hate that, but okay. But the fact that they added the ten mil and not only added it but highlighted it in red as if it's like, hey, look, we've done more. That's just. Yeah, surely insulting. I feel. I mean, they probably think that like the fifty gems are giving us is already way too much, so they don't want to add a whole lot to that. Bro, if only they knew, man. That's man. just not enough. If, if fifty gems is nothing, like one tablet. Come on, one tablet. That's yeah, one of each tablet. That that is a spit in the face. I think yeah, I think one of each tablet is more insulting than fifty yeah. gems. I think fifty gems is like okay, it's one multi, pretty much. You know, mm-hmm. like we okay, fuck it, you roll with it. But one tablet, bro. Why one? In what world, you know, other than Todd's insane luck on Capone, do you feed <laughs> one tablet and then get it to hit? You know what I mean? It's yeah, very yeah. rare that one tablet actually does anything. And for starters, the majority of players, you know, one tablet is going to raise their, their ability from one to two, you know? Not a lot of people are... are, yeah. are I mean, hey, fuck it. Now, everyone's got a rainbow box. Who gives a shit, right? Rainbowing means nothing anymore, you know? Yeah. You might have, have just like, given us- honestly, my ideal compensation would have been like 100 gems... Probably ten of each tablet. I think tomes there, whatever. I don't really care about the tomes. No one cares about tomes. Five man. to ten, that's um, fine. And like five almighty manuals. I think before before the glitch, I had, and then maybe a maybe a free legend selection of some kind. Yeah, it should have been the free legend. Of some it's sort. been it's yeah. been so long since we've had one of those. That's I gotta true. say, like, I can't believe they didn't give us anything for New Year's. Like JP got fifty gems. Like I mean, we did get something. It was like a, a turkey and Rayleigh like points, two, and that was it. Like yeah. twenty. Yeah. 2,020. Yeah. Rally like 20 to- million berries or something. Yeah, cool, man. Thanks, oh. bro. They already gave us berries, bro. Why the fuck do we need 10? <laughs> it's so dumb, dude. I think on the tome thing, like I was going to say, before the glitch, I had 3.6 thousand tomes just sitting yeah. there. Like, we're still in that shit. Tomes are not a fucking issue. You know, even someone like Game Freak, for example, I saw he, he posted, he had like 4.2 thousand tomes. He's so. Like you know what I mean? Like that that, that really, daily kill island. That gives you what? Five tones? Yeah, it gives you six four, and regular yeah. ones and one specific tone. One, yeah, one specific. That's it. That, you're right. You're right. Buggy. So like, what the fuck? Like you know what I mean? You it, tomes are so, like that's what I feel like. Rather than roasting them on the on the on the compensation, they have to be educated in terms of like where they need to be now with rewards. Rewards now don't revolve around like why the fuck are we still receiving turkeys as rewards from top of man missions or from logins? Turkeys are so irrelevant because everyone has a bunch of um XP stuff. Lobsters, bro, you get so many lobsters from Blitz. I mean, like even like me, right? I've I've pulled every legend in the game and I still have over twenty like five million meats, including turkeys and shit, still on my character box. You know, like exactly. They are, yeah, you do not need turkeys. And then add on top of that, all the lobsters you've got from TM and from Blitz. Oh, exactly. Add on top of, add on top of that, all the um, all the desserts from yeah. the Big Mum event. Um, plus, also, like, in every treasure map now, you can drop, like, the gold and silver homies. The gold and homies. Exactly. The homies. Yeah. That's what it is, sorry. Yes. And then also add on the meat and the donuts you got from the the oh, category the, versus the Luffy, swords from the slasher event. And the event. swords from the slasher event. And yeah. I think there's one more coming up as well. Another EXP thing that might happen. Probably. Plus, turtles fucking stack. And yeah. and yeah. during three times EXP, turtles are most of the time the most reliable way to farm EXP. But then again, if if there is like a newish player, they probably yeah. won't have a lot of that's, the stuff. That's what I was gonna say. Like yeah. there are there are still the demographic of players who do need the stuff. But yeah. you still have to look but- out for like 
yeah, 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 exactly. The compensation has to be altered. Re- like yeah. rewards are rewards. We're all gonna be happy. You see twelve man missions, you're getting free stuff for playing the game. That's awesome. You, you know the one thing in which JP did improve on that? If you guys are like Coliseum said for the longest time, when you beat the final stage, you get ten forbidden tomes, which is nothing. But on the most recent column in Japan, they changed that to five gems, which I think was a huge step. Yeah. Up. And that's six gems total. But they also okay. changed the Coliseums where um you can only drop their limit break materials in chaos. Yeah, which is also fucked. So, so that's you have the to farm the hardest difficulty. Oh. I think yeah, we did you, talk. We did talk about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that no, came no, out no. with um, oh, yeah, yeah. Coliseum Kyosho or whatever yeah. his name is. Yeah, Kyosho, you had to. You could only get these limit break materials from chaos. So it essentially stopped people from farming underground, even though underground was basically better than farming chaos. So it's just, like, it's just like, there's so many things that like, I know everyone always mentions, talk about quality of life. You know, what else would you add to the game? Here's what it is. Like, we're literally speaking about it right now. There's so many little things that they can improve on and fix that'll make the majority of the players happy. At the end of the day, not like, whatever decision Bandai comes out with to, for this for this current situation, their, their resolution, not everyone's going to be happy. There's no way they're going to make everyone happy. Exactly. However... And, and they- they need to they need to come up with something that's just gonna that's gonna not fuck up the game for everyone. And I hope to God it's not banning everyone because excuse me, from the majority of the player base, that they, they, they did this glitch. You're gonna ban half of them, you're gonna lose out on a lot of players. And the thing yeah. is too, is that it's just the people who had the fifty five million rewards. Mm-hmm. Who are the people who are in the firing line? So that's the majority your hardcore, of your it's, hardcore, it's your, it's your hardcore players. players, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, we've already lost everyone. As soon as Lay quit, everyone quit pretty much. Yeah. So yeah. like, you know, like you've already lost a lot of the way. Like, bro, fucking Vry mentioned how much you spent on OBTC to us the other day. So like in the last like five years, that shit is fucked. That doesn't even include cheap jams or anything of the sort, right? So like, you're losing out on those kinds of players that. Are spending money consistently on the game, like you, like it's it, it's a situation that is so meticulous, and I feel bad for them because in their position right now, like no matter what they do, the majority of people are going to be angry. Yeah, uh, there's no way to make everyone happy in this situation. It's, it's a lose lose situation now. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. They really have no other choice but to like give us more things because like every new batch, uh, the pool is more diluted there's more legends each time more rare recruits so you have a lesser chance to get things i mean that's yeah that's something that they should really be focusing on is every time they release a new batch what they should be doing is limiting the amount of characters you can pull to that that would also increase the um uh the amount of fucking people that would be pulling on the banner if if there's a high chance to pull the new shit people are gonna pull i think it was um correct me if i'm wrong because i don't know much about dokkan but I think Dokkan, whenever they have a, a Dokkan fest or whatever it's called, sorry, mm-hmm. um, they they limit what can be pulled. Period. It's not Correct. like then it's not rating up. Like for example, without in Legends, for example, it's not rating up fifteen Legends, but making every Legend pullable. Mm-hmm. They literally say, okay, they they have like let's say fifteen SSRs or X amount yeah. of LRs that can be pulled in this Dokkan fest or. Because oh, I don't, I think, because like, I think it's ten percent chance for an SSR on Dokkan, five percent unfeatured, five percent featured, and there's like typically between eight to twelve featured SSRs, and it's like a mana. particular pool as well. Like they cut yeah. it; they don't just say everything's available. They cut it, and yeah, I think it's a mixture of like older and newer characters. That and also on top of that as well, back to Dun Memo. I don't like you know they update their ticket pools. So yeah. that it's always like relatively the newest units. You know what I mean? Every yeah. like couple of months, they like, update it, you know? So you can't pull any of the older ones. You can only pull basically the newer ones. And that's, that's very smart. I feel like with Sugar Fest alone, the majority of people, like no one wants to see a fucking another white beard, man. For fuck's sake, get him out of my face, bro. But people want it like, if I was consistently pulling like, decent legends even if i didn't need them i'd be less upset than you know if the pool was if the pool was shrunk and i was pulling a lot more of the worst legends i'd be more happy than having everything available and pulling those same legends can we you know? can we include the Rayleigh sugo tickets in there as well please oh, the, oh for sure the Rayleigh Sugo tickets Holy are fucking shit. stupid yeah it's, they're actually a waste the oh only one God. to buy is the lr tickets it's literally a free lr for 30,000 when, when when i was still playing i bought all of those 
every single month that they release the new one, I don't think I pulled anything newer than like Usopp. Mm -hmm. That's like, imagine how much better Sugarfest would be. And I feel like more people would be spending, like imagine Kaido Sugarfest comes up, right? And they literally just say everything from January 2019 up until now is pullable. That's the pull. <laughs> That'd like, be OP as hell. It'd be fucking crazy. But even even if that, go back to like 2018, you know? So you have some shit legends in there as well. Yeah, like uh, what if they do like, uh, so hypothetically, if Kaido's anniversary of Sugo, we go like um, everything that was available two anniversaries ago to now. Yeah, some some sort of pool cutting, or make it so like, or you can make it themed, for example, and say all the all the characters that are currently in Wano that are part of the story that have legends or have rare recruits or whatever it is, right? They're they're in that sewer fest as well. You could do that kind of stuff where it, it's themed to that kind of thing, you know. Mm. I mean, yeah. Like, I mean, I, I just like the Sugos where they like where they restricted the classes of. Bro, they're the best Sugos, man. Like when um when Vivi, Rebecca, and Shiroshi Menshiro came out, wasn't that restricted to like Striker, Free Spirit, and Cerebral? I'm pretty I sure. I think it was. And then you had Akayunu's one where it was like, yeah, had a rate up on red units or strength units or something like that as well. Those units, those ones are the best Sugo Fest to pull on because the the pool's limited, and if you have a lot of legends that you're missing from that particular pool. Like, they're the ones yeah. you want to spend money on, you know? I found myself a lot of the time when I've pulled on those dumb Sugos that, like, everyone says bait or whatever, I get the best pulls out of them, <laughs> you know? Or even, um, like, you have, a, like, just an OP Sugo with amazing rates, like the Slasher Sugo. That's that Sugo fucked. had great rates. Yeah. Yeah. The rates is another whole story, man. Mm -hmm. Like, but I think, like, we're very much nitpicking. And the reason why we're nitpicking so much as well is because we do really care about the game. I know Dylan Cobb have quit, but they still have mentioned to me countless times that they're going to keep up with the game. They're going to keep following it. And I think that's important that everyone realizes from what we speak. The reason why we get so upset and angry is because we've all been a part of this journey for so long. And now that we're at like the... We're, we, in theory, we could be at the climax of the game right now. You yeah. know? We don't know what the hell is going to happen. They could just turn around and say, hey, fuck it. Shut it down, chief. Like... We we do not know at all, and it, that's the scariest part, in my opinion, because the like I think harping back all the way back to the start of the episode, the transparency is so minimal that we just don't know what's going to happen from here on out. And for a lot of people, I mean, we talked about it just before. It's really scary. They don't know whether they yeah. can play the game safely or not at no. the moment. It's yeah. I'm I'm concerned because yeah. you know I might have mentioned it before, but I can't buy gems because I you know my Google Play Store doesn't work on my on my phone. And I'm transfer locked, so I can't move, right? Yeah. So now I don't know. Am I going to end up with zero? Like, I've been saving gems for literally like a year and a half for bullet. I'm probably going to be with zero gems when it comes to bullet, right? Okay, whatever. You know, that sucks, but I'm not going to quit. But you know, on top of that as well, like, I haven't opened up any mail. So I have like six legend tickets sitting there. There's a bunch of gems, a bunch of little. I don't want to open those things up because personally, I'm concerned that. If I do that, um, I like the game might think that I'm opening up, you know, glitched mail or whatever, and it's going to take that away from me, even though those are legit things that I earned from playing the game. Yeah, same. I'm saving all my download gems and stuff like that until after this is all sorted out. I'm not touching anything, so I'm concerned that that's what they're going to do. You know, it, you know, like people don't know if they can pull right now because if they're gonna if they're gonna remove every unit that every unit you pull with these glitch gems. If they don't fix this by the time that Bully comes out, people are fucked. They're not going to pull because well, they yeah, don't think that. If this isn't fixed by the time Bully comes out, I'm going ham. Well, that's the thing. Like, it, honestly, the way that it is right now, if it's not fixed when Bullet gets released, I actually will not be pulling. I won't be pulling either. Just, yeah. to... I'm just, I'm just too scared. I just don't want to lose all my shit. <laughs> like, I'd be so disheartened if I pull Bullet and then it gets taken away from me. Yeah, like, same. I, I'm just not even going to risk it at that point. But the thing is, how, how many gems did you have saved up prior? To like 500. Exactly, like, 700 like, or something. And, yeah, seven hundred. Yeah. I don't like. See, that's what I understand. Like, if you do end up pulling in from your gems, like if you if you like consciously keep count in your head, like, okay, I had this many gems that allows me so yeah, so many multis. I completely understand that, but I'm I just I just think that I'm, I'm not, not going to take the risk. Honestly. No, I'm not going to take the risk. And I already know that after everything, I'm going to have zero gems. I already know that. Yes, I can, so do like, I. Like, I, I, like I, I, I didn't pull after the maintenance, but there's going to be some fucky <laughs> thing where. Like I don't know, like, and that's the issue because 
how it, it all comes down to how well do they track every individual's account and are they really going to go on an individual case by case basis? How they're going to program uh, it? Are I, they going to I automate it? The whole manual labor case, by case basis thing was just to scare us. I think, like, but like at the end of the day, a case by case basis might be the best way to do it, though. You know what I'm saying? As it might take literally forever, but it might be the best way to approach it because at least they I hope to God they would know what like okay dill did this he had this prior blah 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 we removed this we add this okay whatever cobb had this todd had this job had this Poppy had this you know like how like i think what people are concerned about is how well are they going to approach the removal or whatever they whatever they're going to do because we don't know how much data or how how well they back up or anything and that's why i think like Shutting it down and just completely rolling it back, roll back TM, roll back everything to that to a point prior would have been the would have been the quickest solution, most likely, and the simplest solution to, the, to this whole situation. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Jesus, man. man, it it, it takes. It's the first time I've been able to verbally like. I've I've done some <laughs> streams recently where I've just talked about it with people in chat, but yeah. like. It's the first it time that I've been able to talk about it to like to you guys, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, there's so, there's so much speculation. That's why I kind of wanted to wait until we could get like any updates. But, bro, but it's, bro, I don't know how long it's gonna be. Wait forever, man. Like I want to yeah. give I want to give the people an episode. Like we've been like and we like like what Dill posted on Twitter. Oh, sorry, on Instagram, I posted on Twitter. With Dill's message. Like we do appreciate you guys being so patient with us as well. We did really want to wait until after the situation. Because then like it would have it it made it better. But... Yeah, but the thing is they kept pushing it back, which means we keep p- pushing the podcast back. And like, not even this is, this isn't the only reason why we're like, p- we're putting, we were putting the podcast off. It was like a, a combination of the fact that not everybody could get in. Like we didn't want to have, we, we honestly, we didn't want everybody, any, we didn't want anybody to miss out on the first podcast of the year. Because yeah. personally, I thought that, I think that would, it's a bad way to start the year, not having the whole, the whole gang in it. But um. Yeah. And as well as the fact we've all had family stuff going on, whether it yeah. be Christmas, New Year's stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like we're all in different situations. And again, shout out to Knight. Unfortunately, can't be. Um, but I think it's 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 okay because this was a purely um, global episode. And, much, and we checked so. with Knight as well, and he told us to, he told us just to go ahead because it is all global related. So yeah. so shout out to Knight again. But um, that's why we like postponed it so much. And there was a lot of like. It, it, it was hard to organize it, but we're glad that we're able to release it. But I think, I don't know, do you guys have any closing notes on the glitch? You want to talk about anything else you want to talk about? If, if I keep going, I'm just going to keep rambling. So I'm, I, yeah, think I think I'm yeah. happy with where we left uh, at the moment. Closing I notes do. is the fact that we don't know what's going on. We'll hopefully get info soon and um, Fuck. stop being a dick to everyone. For real. <laughs> And that includes um, everyone, don't everyone don't in the community. Don't just keep the people who have a voice in the community, whether it be Todd or like zine or whoever it is on twitter like you you might think they have some sort of inside scoop because they don't what what we what you know is pr- most of the time what they know and if you it and, literally is todd, todd knows exactly as much as we know yeah and exactly oh. exactly so like and T- todd has stated everything he knows on his youtube channel or watch on that his, vid watch yeah, that watch, vid. watch the vid about the glitch just on twitter as well like we don't know anything we just have yeah, to wait and see what and they do when we find out more stuff about what's happening uh, for whatever reason you guys might miss because you're not paying attention to the game or you're not following the correct sources on twitter then we will obviously be retweeting yeah. and and todd will obviously make a video like he, he doesn't miss a beat with his videos so you just got to make sure you've got the bell on oh man Plus, uh, i have some also sorry go ahead for, i'm just gonna guessing. say like quickly sorry before we continue plus uh we don't know, like, if the glitch, like, if something happens in the next couple of days that we have a resolution, we might fuck around and record another app. So you know yeah. what I mean? So, like, don't sleep on us as well. We will provide you the information as, as we can. Anyway, sorry, Jova, please. So I, I want to play the devil's advocate here. I know we've p- pretty much all we been talking to. about We definitely how, have to, though, yeah. at some point. All we've been saying is, you know, Bandai's been handling this poorly, and but I want to talk, If I want to mention another aspect of this glitch, which has got to be that it's been a hell of a fucking fun time since the glitch came out, to be honest. As soon as I got off work and I got home, I got on voice chat and dynasty with a ton of dudes. And we were all just, you know, getting gems and pulling and we, and we're all like, you know, there's no way this is going to last. They're going to take this shit away hardcore, but it, it was so much fun uh, just doing a ton of polls. And even beyond that, you know, once the blitz started, there's, 
like no disrespect to people who spend money on the game. I mean, I've spent a shitload of money on the game, but they always have uh, an advantage, you know, in competitive, you know, it's a pay to play uh, the competitions, TMs and blitz. That's just how it is. You know, I'm not complaining about that. That's I get it. it the game is it's a business. That's how the game's made. But, yeah. But it, the, I really like this blitz in particular because uh, those of us that don't routinely spend money on com- on competitive stuff, we were able to use. And, and, you know, of course, it's not fair to people who didn't get to take advantage of it. And I'm not, you know, I'm not saying it is. But for us, that uh, those of us that did, it was really cool that a lot of us were able to go for top ranks for the first time ever because we had yeah. the advantage of these units. And like, you know, I had a lot of friends uh, from Discord that they, you know, they never go for top ranks. You know, me, Broke, Alex, Five Story Systems, we all got top 10 on these things, and we never would have done that otherwise. Mm-hmm. And it was, a hell of, it was a hell of an experience. So, I feel I mean, it, yeah. did, it did reinvigorate the whole community. Because, like, oh, you know, Colbert Dill came back, Justin came back, Trunks came back. Like, a lot of people that had put down the game, like, picked it back up just to play again. And, like, yeah, for sure. yeah, I, I guess it's like finding that silver lining in a shitty situation, but... Yeah. Yeah, and I'm not saying it's fair at all. You know, of course, like we did, uh, for for lack of a, we did kind of cheat our way to the top there by no, using yeah. it. It, it is how it is, but you know, it was cool. See, <laughs> it was I, a- I find it like che- like cheating is a very like loose term, especially with this whole glitch floating around. You can't really call it cheating if it's something you've gotten out of the game technically. Like I wouldn't call it yeah. cheating. It's just I think it's just for it put us all. It put us all on an even playing field because we didn't yeah, exactly. need to rely on uh, on having you know money to pull for the boosters. We ju- it was just a test of you know putting aside the fact that it's RNG based the drops. Uh, it, it was a it was a we had to see who can farm it the hardest or the fastest. I mean, still on, on that same token as well, there were people that weren't able to abuse it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, so like the thing is, I, I think cheating is too strong a word to use for the so, for what's happening. I still feel like it's a, it's a lack of a better term situation. Yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't like, call it cheating, but it's, 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 it's an yeah. exploit. It's an exploit. That's exactly yeah, what it it's is. an exploit. Literally, it's a bug exploit that players were able to abuse. A period. That's what it is. All right. Well, that was something Oof. else. Everyone got everything out of their system. I think. Yeah, I think. I think, I, think, I, I think all of us needed <laughs> some sort of some sort of soapbox to, to you know to to talk on that's for sure but um it's a it's a crazy event I mean, one of the most interesting things that's ever happened in this game for sure for sure all right well we did release a release jesus we did tweet you know asking some questions a lot of you guys want us about the glitch we did you know hands down um i'm gonna we're gonna run through a bunch of these questions and then at the end me and cobb will talk about what we're gonna do with the questions in the future and then I also want to hint at a few things that we have planned as well for GGP. All right. Ooh. So, oh yeah, Joe wasn't here, so this is first hand for that guy. Um, <laughs> so, we're going to go through all these questions suck. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you guys are all dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for true. Um, so, yeah, like I said, a lot of bad guys. So, um, at IMO underscore Omar, he said, any new game modes you guys can think of that would make OBTC more fun? And he gave a good example. Um, for example, everyone gets access to a certain amount of characters and builds teams and then completes an island. So basically, it, so that's a lot like um, Battle Tower Pokemon. Sort mm-hmm. of thing. Renting yeah. teams. Actually, while you were saying that question, that was like one of the first things that came to my head was like, because on, on, on um, Dokkan Battle, they have this thing called Dokkan Battlefield. And what happens is, is you choose 100 of your characters and then there's a bunch of different bosses. And basically you go through and use your 100 characters that you selected to beat a boss. Once you use a, a team, you can't use those characters anymore for the preceding boss fights. And when you make it to the end, you get a bunch of rewards. Mm-hmm. So that would but, definitely like, that would bring in the ideas of team building. And you could mm-hmm. also do things for TC alone. You could make things like, um, oh, you build a team with X amount of units from your box. And then this for this particular challenge, it's the team that does the most damage output, or it's the team that clears um, the island the fastest, or you know it does X Y Z. And then you could either rank people, or you could do like the in-game ranking or the online ranking, PvP, PvM kind of style. I think that'd be a really good game mode in itself, having some sort of restriction-based thing, not just like the dumbass island restriction where it's like restricted to a, a yeah, type like, or a class, yeah, or, or a cost. Yeah, or a cost, but like just a purely like you can pick X amount of units or you you get given, even like, you know, like you said, Battle Tower or whatever, 
Like, yeah, you like, get, you're you rent, get like, given. Set, like you get like given like an option of like seven teams. Like, but once you choose your team to rent, you have to clear an island with it before you can change which team you want to rent. And then every island you qu- clear subsequently rewards you. So the first island gives you like you know a shitty reward. But if you and- somehow use that team to let's say clear the, like the island like ten times, fifteen times, or get to the fifteenth level, you know, then yeah. they're like, okay, you get. You get some like some crazy like some GARP challenge level no, reward. What what I reckon I should do like like rent it. So for example, say it's like it's a rent team and like you could, you could obviously rent teams that like like for example for us who has all the characters and all legends and stuff. So say if you, it's a team that has a legend as a captain and then it has like either its batch or some batches that complement it. Uh, and say you beat so many, you you manage to stick with that one team through the whole thing and you clear say seven islands, but but. By the last one, you get a rare recruit that could be any of the five characters you used from the batch. You know what I mean? Yeah, some, so it could be the legend, or you could get stuck with something like a limited rare recruit, or like just a generic rare recruit. You know what I mean? Yeah, so some it's like sort of way like that. Just some new like take on rewards, like, that kind of stuff as well. I, I would really love something like that, where like everyone may, uh, maybe has the same team, and it's just a grind fest, and it only like the only factor is how fast and how hard and how long you can farm. Yeah, imagine like you know, a no, boost- no boosters. Yeah, imagine blitz, yeah. a blitz battle that was just like okay. Once you saw the island, it's like you know how like the, the new Sugarfest Island let you like they give you like yeah, the um out the batch yeah. the whole batch and like imagine like a blitz that just said like they could they could literally do that with the um with the with the admiral like the Aka universe kid you because those yeah. teams are those teams are set in stone like we looked like JP just had that blitz again and yeah. everyone used the exact same teams that they yeah used the teams the are set in stone. So I even could, pulled the two new. I even pulled the two new admirals, and I didn't use them. I just used the old teams. That exactly. So, used. like, you could just run those. Like, you could just say, "Okay, everyone gets this team if you're running Aka, this team if you're running Kiji, and you go." You know, there's no factor in terms of limit breaking or candy or blah blah blah. Everyone's on the exact same playing field, or just any kind of blitz. You know, like some sort of ranking event like that, because then you have the competitiveness of the ranking. You have the potential rewards for like first place, hundredth place, blah blah blah. blah. And then you also have in-game rewards as well. Like it would just be like it'd be a an even playing field that would purely test everyone on speed or on dedication alone. Yeah, I, I've I got another that. game mode that I just thought of. Yeah. So, have you guys ever played some of the Yu-Gi-Oh games? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so like some, for the Game Boy and stuff like that. Just I don't know which games. I'm sure a lot of them have it, but they some of them have a game mode inside the game where it's like um you get given a certain amount of cards and you have to oh, win yeah. in that like, turn. Like, I know like exactly. A, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so what if they just like structure an event based around a team and it's like a bunch of brain teasers? Oh, it's like uh, the scenarios, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I, Games I reckon what they should do, they should do like what we, would, what we used to go to for like pre-release of stuff. So you'd get like... Yeah, you get like six packs. So, so, so you get like three multis. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then whatever you get from those play. multis, you have to use to beat the current event. And if you yeah. if you rank in a certain amount, if you rank in a certain area, you get to keep everything you get from the multis. I if like not, that. the but... multis get um thrown to the side, and you get to keep like. At the same like... time, it's like I feel like you'd have to <laughs> you'd have to spend your own rainbow gems to get into an event like that. I feel. Yeah, but like, yeah, the, like, 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 an, like the, okay, yeah. you have an, it's like an, it's like the host stuff. It's an entry fee. It's an entry fee. Like, yeah. So you, you pay an entry fee of like thirty gems, and yeah. then the, and then if you come first, if you come first, it's like a hundred and fifty gem reward, and like it tears down like they do with like like uh, what's it called treasure map and stuff. So it tears down, and, and the person who came first, uh, the, the top ten gets to keep the the free multis uh, from like t- from fi- from eleventh to fiftieth. You get to keep two of the three. 50th to 100th, you have to keep one of the three multis, and you don't like, choose, they choose the multis. I feel like if they're going to do something like that, like the banner that you would be pulling on would be severely oh, be, restricted. Yeah, but like okay. the thing is, that they'd make it restricted to the point to like, okay, it's the stuff that will help you in yeah, the Yeah, of dungeon. course. It's, it's yeah, built that, island, like, yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking like, what if they just do like a banner where it's like restricted free spur only units or something like that? Yeah. Where they like severely yeah, exactly. restricted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that would work. And, like you, yeah, and you, can, sure. you can choose to compete in it if you say if there's characters in that pool. It's like, oh, I, I don't have Sabo Koala and it's in the pool of legends. I don't have, um, I don't have limited rare equip Bonnie, which is also in, in that pool. Oh, I might do the three multis I'll, and try I'll and pay in. I'll pay in the thirty to support to do units it. too, and then yeah, no, and then you grow. So they do that in FIFA as well. It's called the the, the draft yeah, mode. You pay, 50, yeah. Yeah, you pay fifteen k, and then you literally you click on a position like that. You get you choose the formation you want, and you click the position, and then it gives you five players. 
and yep. you click a player you want, and then you build a team, and then you get to build the bench as well, and then you can rearrange that team, and then you play with that team. And if you win, you get like, you know, like you get obviously, I think it's like 80k coins and like seven packs or whatever. So, you know, you get a, a larger reward than the buy in, regardless of if on the OBTC stat side, it's not just like getting the units, as long as it's a larger reward than the actual buy in itself. Then it's then it be, would be worthwhile. I mean, if you this were event sounds or whatever. pretty cool, but as long as it's not overlapping with any other events, with current time, events, yeah. oh, that it's would be a pain, it was its own event. Like it happened. It's all right. Yeah. You buy and you do it. You know, it'd be I think it would be pretty fun. You know, Todd, how you used to do those like Fortnite clears with the randomized teams. Yeah, where true. You would, uh, I, like if you could like randomize and try to beat an old raid or something like that, that'd be pretty cool. Like try to pick which one would be your captain and stuff mm-hmm. like that. If it's possible, that'd be cool. It's yeah. definitely doable. With so many stuff units like now, when you randomize stuff, you, you, you're like bound to get shit that doesn't work together. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of the uh, newer units have like decent captain abilities that you can, true. you know, you can put something together. Yeah. True, 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 true. As long as you All get right. like a good captain, you can kind of carry yourself through. Yeah. All right. So another question we have here from at Platinum Wolf 99. Shout out Platinum Wolf, man. Um, should the five... If should the, should the five star five plus straw hat characters get an updated captain ability? If yes, what kind of captain ability should they get in the current meta? I feel like I feel like change that and say should the five plus straw hats get other than Luffy get like a better special something like that, or should they release a new set of like straw hat units or something? Well, like I would like, love for them to go back and start yeah. giving five pluses to older rare and that, recruits. that relates to the another question by carl koala shout out the koalas in australia man australia's fucking dying bro. <laughs> they're doing it tough yeah um he says do you think some old five star rare crew should get a five plus like the v1 supernova batch oh yeah Fuck that'd be yes. awesome hell yes man i pull so many so many fucking rakuyos <laughs> oh yeah the white bids yeah the white bid pirates yeah, all for sure dudes. Um, I, it would be really cool if we got like a, a, a like the original Straw Hats. If we can like maybe five plus plus versions for Wano, that'd be really awesome. Plus plus, but, oh, no, I don't do yeah, that. I mean, if they went all the yeah. way back and gave a super evolution to Time Skip Nami, oh my god, bro, it's broken, oh, broken, be over, bro. She's still oh. like the one of the best rare recruits in the game. You give her That's a facts. five plus, it's over. What she do? She removes burn. She removes attack down as well. Game over, bro. <laughs> yeah. You're way too strong, man. Um, no, just know, keep, keep it as she is, but make a, uh, a 1.75 delay conditional as well. That'd be she, fucked, bro. A, a lot of units nowadays that remove a special blind, they only re- resist it on themselves for like three turns or something, and she just yeah, resists it's annoying. Period. It's so annoying, yeah. She was busted, for sure. She didn't give a fuck. <laughs> um, I guess last question from Carl Koala as well. If OBTC could have another crossover event, what series would you like to go, uh, would you like to see? In the past, that had Freezer, obviously. Um, another Dokkan well. crossover. Another Dokkan would be good. Um, I don't know. They don't really do crossovers the way other games do. Like other games, you can get units from other series. Like Den Memo, they had like you know the, the Attack on Titan crossover. You mm-hmm. can get actual Attack on Titan units, and that was really would you, cool. Would you guys like? To, it's like for example, if they did a DBs Pokemon would, Masters. Show oh, <laughs> that would be pretty cool, bro. If I see a Charizard in a fucking TM team, I'm a snap, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> if I see Cynthia fucking kicking arm in, baby, let's go. Uh, yeah. But and then that would be the introduction of like time limited units, which I would really hate personally. Yeah, see, that's what I was gonna ask. Like, would you guys like to see, like, if they did a um a crossover with Dokkan again, or just DBZ in general? Would you like to see pullable units or like? No, I don't think so. I don't think they will, but. If, if it was a legend or something, imagine missing out on that legend. Oh. Bro, like, yeah, like, ugh, nah. Legend, legend, like, UI Goku or some shit. Bro, hell no. Legend nah. Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. In battle, she just, like, her, her special, she sends out Garchomp. Mega revolves it. <laughs> Does, like, AoE damage or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. Mm. Hey, you never know, man. Like, like I, I would love to see, like, another... Uh, co- oh, yo, what if they did, like, Goku and Frieza dual unit from the Tournament of Power? Yo, come on, oh man. Yo, that'd, that'd be, be sick. Dude, you can't just throw that shit out there, bro. Because <laughs> now we, we, we... All right, time for a new concept vid, Todd. Five <laughs> Jiren, <laughs> Jiren <laughs> Legend. Give me a Hell Broly, yeah. bro. Give me a Broly. Oh, Gogeta Blue, let's go. Bro, for real, for real. Um, 
also no, it, the dual unit um kale and kefla to and when you use their special they uh, they, they fuse. fuse oh uh, that'd be sick bro you all need to uh, calm down the, 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 <laughs> yeah. the truth would be starting treasure cruise real bro, he, bro, we get, <laughs> bro he can get on the pod man he'll help us <laughs> get all those boys get nano get the truth get rhyme all those boys man that'd be man sick. I, I need dragon ball super to come back yes yeah, so do i but Facts. i am enjoying like- my hero at the moment so Oh, I need to start the manga. Oh, you mean Boku no Hero? <laughs> yeah, oh, say, yeah, yeah, say the right. correct way, you lebs. Man, every time I hear someone say Shingeki no Kyojin, <laughs> Shingeki like, no Kyojin, Kyojin I'm like, you fucking weeb. <laughs> no, the worst one is by far my hero, because it's literally longer. <laughs> true. That is true. Uh, All right. Well, I think that kind of wraps it up. That was a yeah. very... Oh, man. Very heavy, full-on app. I hope you all enjoyed it. That's for sure. Um, There's a lot of shit off our chests. Yeah, for sure. I think it was a good. Like two hours. <laughs> yeah, something, that was something crazy. Um, a few things can that I w- got, can you guys tell that we had a uh, something that we really wanted to talk about because um we've never had the one this this um focus. Yeah, like this, this dense. one topic. You know, dense. Um, a few things that I want to mention. So I'm gonna tease some potential guests. Just Ooh, you know, I, I don't even know this. Yeah, I don't know this either. <laughs> so, um, Lay will be on the podcast. Oh, at oh some I'm not point. that guy. Oh, big <laughs> dropping Lay, big names. Lay will be on the podcast. I'm in, I'm talking with him. Um, I need to look at my DMs, man. Fuck. If you don't know who Lay is, then you're you're not even in the. You're like out of the loop entirely. Um, the goat team builder snooker. I've been in talks with him. He he said he's he is down. The GCR um, God. The GCR God himself. Um and potentially Trunks might make an appearance. That's all oh. I'm saying. That's some oh. big ass names to be teasing. Man, um you know I'm a big trunk sticker writer. Okay. You, bro, Man. two th- bro. At least it's only Jeez, that was really poorly worded. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, a I'm a big trunks, I'm a big trunks dig writer. Also, Support we do real, still, I am starting a Patreon to get Joker kicked off the podcast. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that's still going to be a thing itself. Um, hey, if I see a paycheck from that, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting paid. If, you get, if you're kicked <laughs> off, you're not getting paid. Hello? What do you think? <laughs> Wait, you guys are getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm saying, bro. Um, but yeah, there's like three three people that you know I'm, I'm in talks with at the moment. Um, but let us know who you want to see as well. If you have any particular people, I will reach out or we'll try our best to to contact some people and, and get them on the podcast as well. Uh, it doesn't have to be OBTC related in particular. It can be just like, you know, gotcha game related or just in general people that you might want to see. Um, I also want to hint at a few things as well that we, I, I, not with, I haven't talked with everyone, but hey, fuck it, man, I'm going to run it. Um, so I've been thinking for a bit now, and I think we all have as well. Uh, we want to do GGP a little bit more regular than we currently are. The bi-weekly thing is good, but uh, you know, a lot of us do have time. Like we all are free relatively at the same times as well. So um uh so like we want to see if we can do it weekly, but that does come down to getting us to a thousand subs at the moment. That might change, who knows? But if we can hit that 1k, um we we will go weekly. But what we want to do is we want to orientate GGP so it's uh you, you're memeing up in the chat, man. It can't, I'm trying to focus, bro. <laughs> um, no, but um, we want to we want to do it so we have one app, which is this current series that is just going to be GGP about gacha games, in particular OPTC, and they want to have a GGP after hours, after dark, you know, kind of style Ooh. podcast where it's just us talking about random shit, what's going on in the world you know, memeing it up, chopping it up, you know, just for an hour or so. That'll be its own separate kind of thing as well, but still obviously under the GG pre, um, GGP pre. umbrella. Under, hey, babe, it's called GG pre, baby. It's the pre episodes, <laughs> you know, but um, we want to kind of do that as well. Also, um, I think a lot of people kind of have been asking for as well for us to stream these episodes. I, I, so I honestly think if we do a live stream, uh, obviously going to be on Twitch, and I think we should have our cams on for that we one. Will, we will, we will, we we will talk about cams and all that kind of stuff in the future. 
for the time being, we are enjoying the current setup because it's just a lot easier to produce quickly and get out as fast as we can. But no, I'm just saying, like, I, I can I honestly think if, if we're doing if we do a live stream, it'll be a webcam, hundred percent. I I can promise that. But for the time being, um, <laughs> yeah, okay, you're you're <laughs> fucking up the chat, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> if only if only if only get you get Joba can, out of here, bro. We need to go. Please send me money to kick Joba off the show, man. man. You guys are you get you guys are scenario as fuck. You know you love me. <laughs> I love Joba, man. But. Nonetheless, thank you all for listening. Thank you all for tuning in all of 20, for the 2018 period. We do really appreciate it. We gained like uh, there was a lot of support for us, and it's um, it's <laughs> my God, please, man. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was a lot of support, and we do really appreciate it. Thank you for being so patient with us when it comes. I'm closing Discord. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the fuck. The fuck? Thank you all for being so patient. You know, we, we appreciate it. Thank you for all the follows. Thank you for all the subscribers. Thank you for everyone listening on Anchor as well. And on all Thank you for everyone donating well. to get Joba out of this bloody Thank podcast. Thank you for everyone donating to get Joba out <laughs> of here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I've been Captain Puppy. Cobb, Dill, Joba. Bye. 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 See you guys Bye. later. Peace. Bye.